Hello, sorry about that. I'm going to start this video again because I got interrupted by a phone call. It was a rather important phone call I had to take. So here we go again. So Douglas fir is one of the fir trees. Instantly recognisable as a fir tree. It's clearly a pine tree, but it's quite different from... Mm, it's quite different from white fur or Siberian fur, which are instantly Christmassy. It's really hard to use those oils at any other time than Christmas because it's just so damn Christmassy. Hi Phil, nice to see you here watching. So Douglas fur as an essential oil is... Oh, it's very... it's very piney and yet it's... It's kind of like an aftershave, to be honest. Um, it's quite masculine, but um, very refreshing. I could almost imagine it in a toothpaste, but certainly like an aftershave lotion. And it's very much like going for a walk in the woods, which I keep saying this and I say it again, I'm so, so loving my essential oils whilst we will shut inside because I get to bring the world inside with me wherever I want, whenever I want, from anywhere in the world. I can just grab an oil and be transported into nature. So Douglas fir, according to the seventh edition of Emotions and Essential Oils, is the oil of generational wisdom. So Douglas fir and white fir are, share many similarities. However, Douglas firs have a longer life and would be, considered the, would be considered the older and the wiser of the two trees. They both address generational issues by inviting us to break free from destructive traditions passed down through our families. Like white fir, Douglas fir assists us to live according to our own conscience and values by letting go of harmful patterns. It teaches us that each generation can be a gift of new life, new growth, new beginnings. Similarly, Douglas fir can assist with increasing the bond within one's own family unit. It encourages healthy family dynamics where people and meaningful relationships are valued over blind loyalty to tradition. Very timely. All kinds of traditions are being shredded right now, reevaluated. Um, the rules are, it's completely changed on us, what we thought was normal. Um, but we're really encouraged to be with our family and look at our family dynamics, especially those of us who are locked up with them pretty much 24 seven for weeks and weeks and months now. Additionally, Douglas fir teaches us to learn from and value each other's experiences, especially our family and ancestors. It encourages respect for our elders and ancestral heritage at the same time of letting go of any destructive patterns we may have inherited from them. There's plenty to be respected in our elders. It reminds us that valuable wisdom can be obtained by learning from the past and from individuals who are older, wiser and more experienced, which is why I love trees so much because they have such a completely different time span to us and they just kind of rise above all our seemingly trivial pursuits as if we're little ants crawling around at their roots. And they just give me that grounded and yet uplifting sensation of both having strong roots and strong branches and being up in the air and yet firmly grounded. So that's the oil Douglas fir. So I'm going to pair this kind of randomly selected from my Aerial Yoga for Anyone book with a harness wrap. So for this one you need the sling to be all the way on the floor and it's interesting that uh, you know like Douglas fir this is grounding and yet uplifting at the same time so you would need to wrap your leg from the back round into the sling 
and the same on the other side. Now this is the funny bit, it feels a bit like pulling on a nappy, becoming sort of baby again, because you've got to pull this up until it's all the way up in your groin area. And you want to get it in the right place because it can be a bit uncomfortable if you don't get it in the wrong place and you will soon know. So this is your aerial yoga harness. Okay, I don't know how well you can see, but it's wrapped right around my hips and your groin. So from here, you can actually sit on it and swing with the legs out straight. Just kind of an interesting sensation. And you can also then play around with it. So this is called da um, it's called downward puppy. So I'm sure you're familiar with downward dog, but with this harness here, I can wag my tail. If I come down to downward dog, ah, then I can, oops. Wag my tail with my hips in the harness. There's all kinds of ways you can play around with it. It takes a bit of getting used to because it can kind of pinch your hips a little bit, but it's also quite, it feels quite good and quite sporty. And then this is called a bird of paradise. So just to let the harness take the weight and work on a back bend, you can walk your toes around. You've been holding onto the bar that the sling is attached to and get a real full body back bend with your hips supported by the harness. Or equally, I could work it this way. Oof. I'm using my foot position and I'll just swing. I don't want to swing too much. So this is the aerial yoga harness. It's a lot of... Mm. Yep, so many things you can play around with in this position. takes a little bit to get out <sighs> and the next one will be getting onto the ease we're looking at eucalyptus okay see you in a moment for the next video <laughs> 